Oh, that looks really cool from here. I'm inclined to make a selfie to start with. Wow. So, a warm welcome and good morning to our first ever Innovation Day at Bayer in Benelux. I think that sounds pretty exciting. And actually, I am very excited to be here with you and to look into 400 shining eyes which show quite some appetite for innovation. And you know, this tent could be half empty, but it's full. Because you decided today to devote your time in very challenging times. I know everybody has to do the budget and has to do the usual day-to-day -day work, but you decided deliberately today to devote your time for innovation. And I think that shows the appetite we at Bayer Benelux have for innovation. I think we are gathering here in a fantastic venue. So first of all, I would like to thank Joachim, here he is, and John to host this event. Fantastic location. It's the innovation powerhouse of vegetable seeds at Bayer. And we have another uh, reason to party. That will be done tomorrow because there will be the 100th anniversary of Nunham being celebrated also in this tent with 1,000 people uh, celebrating a prosperous, profitably, fastly growing, fantastic business. And we did everything to put together a world-class program for you today. And I think it starts with the speakers. We have Monica Lessel with us, Monica. And she is uh, heading the innovation team at uh, our global headquarters. And then we have an external keynote speaker. And we were, when we were organizing this event or brainstorming and looking at the program, we were of the unanimous view that we should have a top external speaker. But whom to choose? There are thousands of them alleging that they're really good speakers on innovation, the hot topic. And then we did some research, you know, looked into YouTube videos and so forth and gathered. And then we, you know, compared our results. And interestingly enough, everybody had the same guy there at the top of the list because he was sticking out tremendously. So he was nothing less than the head of innovation at Google. So what to do with that? So a lot of guys said, yes, it would be great, but will he have the time? Would he want to come to Bayer Benelux? Will he fly in from Sacramento, where he's based? Will he want to do that, really? And would he be affordable? And I said, you know what? Why not just try? Let's make an experiment. Let's just try. And so Carmen gave this guy a call. And he said, wow, you want me to speak at Bayer event? I think that's a really cool company. And actually, confidentially, I think we are even in some talks. So um, by chance, that very day, I plan to land in Dusseldorf anyway, and so uh, I'll be happy to come. And so he will be with us. Is that cool? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so at, at least as cool is that we then have the contest. And you know, when we were considering to do that contest, I have to admit, I did not expect such a fantastic reaction. We had more than 150 people applying and bringing in 74 super ideas. Who provided ideas? Wow, thank you for that. I think it's great. <laughs> so it was a very tight time frame, and you took the decision also to go there beyond your usual task, and I think that shows uh, your appetite for innovation. And amongst us today are the 12 winners, you know, who uh, were put on the short list after we made a, a ranking, you know, how innovative is it, how feasible it is, and what's the impact of the business. And so the, these 12 teams will be pitching today, and I'm very much looking forward to that. I guess you're nervous, but I can tell you it will not be difficult. Because I have some experience, because actually, I think I was the first one pitching. 
for today because I had to pitch this idea of an innovation day at that innovation contest with my country leadership team. And I have to say you, it was a walk in the park because everybody was so supportive and thought it was a great idea. And so I would really like to thank my colleagues here from the country leadership team to fully support this idea of having this day today. So I would also like to say a few words about the ideas which not have been chosen today. Because I think there are really some ideas which are worthwhile following through. And just to name two of them, which are kind of close to my heart, because I do believe you can only energize and inspire people when you're at ease with yourself, when your body is healthy. And so one of the ideas is to have so-called desk bikes. And that's not an invention from the person who brought up the idea, because that's an innovation which has been done. But I think it's worthwhile to test it, because it's a combination of a desk where underneath you have the ability then to practice for your next bike ride. And can you imagine any better location than Netherlands or Belgium, you know, totally addicted to bike riding, to try this out? So I would like to run a pilot with that. And the second is an idea also coming from the organization, from one entire team, and that's about the question why we do not more in order to foster sports activities. Why don't we come up with a schedule that every Tuesday at noon we have a joint run, and every Wednesday in the evening we have a yoga session, doing stuff like that. And I do believe that if this is an idea coming bottom up from the organization, that this is worthwhile to look at and uh, try this out at our sites, which we have here in the Benelux. So, I think one important topic we have to be aware of. There is no organization which is per se innovative. There is no institution which is per se in, uh, innovative. It's the human factor which counts. It's about inspiring people. It's about creative people. It's about energizing people. And it's about committed people. Committed people. And that's why we are here today. But that can't be all. So the question is, apart from this day, which can only serve as a starting point, really, what else can we do to foster innovation? And that's why we said we need ambassadors to drive that topic. And therefore, I'm really glad that Brenda van Schaik, who is Brenda, where's Brenda? There's Brenda. Can you stand up, please? She is our innovation champion. <laughs> and she uh, will, don't know whether today, but I mean, she will be worn in dark blue, either in a very nice dress or in a polo shirt. And so she's our innovation champion. But we also know that innovation is always driven not by one person alone, but by a team. And that's why I'm so really glad that so many of you accepted right away within days to also accept the role of innovation coaches to help the organization by organizing workshops, by providing tools and techniques, brainstorming techniques and so forth to help the organization, to help the colleagues to drive that organization. And here they are, the innovation coaches. And I thought it might be a nice idea that also, we have a little present for them. So please, uh, before the lunch break, they will be lying, I think, here around. So all the innovation coaches, please go there and consider whether you want to wear it so that people can already relate your faces to the topic of innovation. Thank you for the innovation coaches. So what else? And currently, we are driving lots of projects. Globally, here from Monica and her team, and also other teams, locally, but also regionally. And so let me just share one story from last Friday, where we had a regional council in Vienna. And that's an event which takes place once a year. 
and all the country speakers from the European countries would gather um, yeah, to uh, share best practice and so forth. And on the agenda this time was innovation marketplace. So what the heck is innovation marketplace? Well, it was a big room and there we saw just visualizations of the coolest projects which are driven in the countries around the topic of innovation, ranging from um, corporate social responsibility activities in Romania to a bus which, who drives around, you know, with people packed in that bus and they cannot leave after five days, you know, and uh, are really obliged to come up with business cases regarding new business models, so, so really cool stuff. And there I met Jesus. Who knows Jesus from Brazil? Okay, Brenner does. Vera does. By the way, that's Vera, the head of regional coordination, who was uh, organizing that event together with Annette. Where is Annette, head of Europe in the regional coordination? There she is. Thank you for that. And so I got into a talk with Jesus. And Jesus is the head of our Grant for Apps program. Really cool guy. And so we were brainstorming a bit around innovation. And then he was saying, do you know Google Trends? And I said, well, I know Google, and I know what a trend is, but Google Trends, no, sorry. And he said, well, you have to try this out. So this is a tool where you can put in a buzzword, and then it shows you how the trend is developing over time. So I said, what about by our job, by our career, by our excitement? You know, what, what is that interest in that category? And he said, yeah, let's check. And so we saw a line, and that was somewhere here, showing the interest in, uh, and clicks into those buzzwords. And you know, you saw a moderate growth, but not really sexy. Yeah? And then I said, and what about uh, startup jobs, startup career opportunities? And then you would see a line which was here. So quite considerably higher. And I mean, think about it. I mean, buyer all across. And then startups are really apparently creating much more interest. And then I said, and if you put Google there, or Uber, or Airbnb, and we looked at that, and that was here. Just another league. And that's where we have to get at. I truly believe that this is where we have to get at. And, and I don't, don't know why we shouldn't be able to get it. Because if you look at what these companies have created in terms of reputation, you know, they are famous for being very good in collaboration, in customer focus, in experimentation, in trust building. And no, maybe some of you have a thought. Exactly. Aren't that the values which we are driving at New Buyer? where we do believe we are good at, could even become better. I actually see no reason why we shouldn't get to that bar. And with that, I would like to kick it off, have a great day, and be prepared to be inspired. Thank you. Thank you, Axel.